All right, guys, this morning I thought we'd take a crack at this guy. It's been sitting over there waiting. This is uh, part of the trade that uh, I got this from Hans Christian in Germany. Uh, this is a pretty parasentric little keyway. Got some nasty warding up there, and I did try the key earlier. Here's the hang tag, by the way, that HC sent to me. It doesn't look too bad. Um, a, a lot. It's a five-pinner, all, almost all really high cuts with just a single uh, almost maximum low cut there in the very back. Um, the thing I'm a little nervous about, though, get in there, is the tension on this. There's no play in the core, none. So when you turn this guy, super strong spring, and watch how that shackle launches out of there. I mean, it just it's like a sudden release there. Get back in there. I mean, really, really strong. I was shocked. So I think tensioning this guy, you know, even though it might be... I hate to say easy to pick because it is a CES, a high quality lock. This, I believe, is an older lock. So the quality and tolerances in this are probably even better than they are today, unless there's some substantial wear. Hopefully, we got some things working in our favor here. And let's try find a tensioner, see if we can pick this guy. I'm going to try to rake him. I mean, with bidding like that. Well, even if I didn't know what the bidding was like, let's see, white would be next. And he's still too thick. Let's try the next dentist. This is 0.8 millimeter. There we go. And he's actually a little bit sloppy, but I mean, there's no play on that core. And I, it's hard to tell when you're tensioning. Just, I'm going to have to put like a lot, I guess. Maybe, <clears throat> I, I know it's probably not likely that to be very successful on a German lock by using heavy tension. And that's true of any high security lock, I think, but... I don't think I have a choice here. I don't know at what point I'm overcoming that really strong spring that's on the core. Let's let's try, let's see, first we're going to rake it, so we're going to need those, and it's a German lock, so we need some German picks. All right, let's see what we got. I got, first I'm going to try the 25,000 Bogota from Multipick. It is the Bogue, let's see, what are, you, what are they called, the Bogue 03, B-O-G-03. And right away, I can tell you it's not going to work. I can feel it snagging on that warding. So he's not even getting up there. So 25 thousandths are out. Let's go right to 15 thousandths. This one's from the Praxis kit. Wow, even he's getting caught up, a little wedged up in there. All right, let's see what we got. Hopefully I can get a, I can at least figure out, let me put that tensioner all the way in. I can at least figure out the right tensioning, I hope. Uh-uh, I can't really feel anything. I mean, I'm putting a lot of tension on that. And I can still feel those pins I'm moving freely. So I'm going to apply even more tension. And it's really difficult because of the warding. So let's try it um, with this guy. This is the V04. And I think you can see I'm going to probably have a little trouble with that warning. Probably have to wedge him up in there, but let's try it. Again, heavy tension. I'll try from the bottom, see what happens. May have to pull out the uh, 12,000 some, somewhere at some point. All right, I'm on pin 5. Either that or I'm on the warning because he's not giving at all. Let me lighten up on my tension a little bit just to see if that is a pin. Yeah, that is a pin. Okay, so back back on the heavy tension. Get back on that pin, and he goes up and comes back down. So still springy. Let's keep going. That feels like pin two. Nope, that's warding. Okay, so let's start again. Heavier tension to kind of force it. Trying to find. Yeah, that's got to be warding. I'll leave that alone. Okay, that was pin four. I got a little click. Feels like pin three, got a click. Get on pin one, he's still completely springy. I may not have a choice, I may have to lighten up on the tension. If I do that, I believe that pin five will probably fall. That was pin three again, another click. I think we're good there. OK, 
Okay, that was pin four, a second click on him. So clearly security pins, which German lock, we knew that. All right, I'm on pin one, and he's binding now. So if I get oriented right. That's warding. Nope. Pin five, got to click on him. There's pin three binding. And I think that might be an open. It started to come out of there. Started to turn. There we go. Wow, look how much I'm flexing that bar just to get enough tension on that. Well, there we go, guys. I really think Master Lock should study how these things are made, and maybe they can take a couple of lessons. Awesome paracentric keyways. That's oftentimes, getting past the warding is oftentimes one of the hardest parts. This was really easy bidding. I've got to say, for a German lock, I really would not have expected to see it this easy, but given the paracentricity of the keyway and the security pins, it made it worth, uh, you know, made it a halfway fight. Anyway, guys, there you go. The CES padlock from Hans Christian in Germany. Appreciate your time, guys. Stay safe. Stay legal.